I wanted to provide an overview of some features that are coming up in this week's build, uh, 2.0.6.1, that will be, I believe, welcome additions for those uh, working with Salesforce DX. Uh, and, and not just Salesforce DX Scratch Org development, but also the newer uh, develop against any org development model. In fact, we'll go ahead and start with that. Uh, about four releases back, Illuminated Cloud added support for Salesforce DX develop against any org, which allows you to use the source format uh, project structure uh, and the Salesforce DX uh, CLI's ability to, to deploy and retrieve against non-scratch orgs, um, and it and integrates them into Illuminated Cloud. And um, when I released those features, I mentioned that there were a couple of, of, uh, of gaps between uh, working with the traditional uh, metadata API project and working with the develop against any org project. Uh, notably, uh, retrieve from merge was missing and the ability to do uh, more power user oriented uh, operations like a namespace translation and uh, custom uh, uh, deployment and retrieval substitution roles. Well with 2.0.6.1 those gaps have been uh, have been filled and uh, there's relative feature parity uh, in terms of deployment and retrieval uh, operations between those two types of projects, metadata API projects, kind of the traditional non-Salesforce DX projects and, uh, and Salesforce DX developing instead org project. So let's just take a look. So this is developing against any org project and uh, I've made some local changes. So uh, in this case uh, it's kind of contrived. I've, I've commented out this remove item uh, method. So what I want to do is just highlight shopping list manager over here as the subset of metadata I care about. Uh, start a retrieve operation and uh, I'm going to make sure that context is chosen. If I don't then it'll retrieve the full contents of the module. Uh, so context based on the selection and now the button retrieve for merge is available. Again, if you're accustomed to traditional illuminated cloud projects that's always been there but it has not been there for the first the last four releases for uh, develop against any org projects. Okay, so I'm going to click Retrieve from Merge. Just like before, this is retrieving. Instead of retrieving directly into the local project uh, sources, it's retrieving into a temporary directory, uh, reconciling the locations of the files because you've got a very flexible project structure here, and then opening up a diff tool. By default, it would be the IDE's built-in diff tool. Uh, I happen to prefer uh, Beyond Compare, so I've got that uh, configured as the external diff tool. Uh, you can see that there are some labels that I have locally. Just uh, for context, the left side is what was retrieved. Uh, the right side is your local project. And so um, it's showing that I have some labels I've not deployed to the server yet. And then here's that class. And we can see that the differences are that I've commented out this, uh, this particular uh, method. So it's showing me the, the differences. Obviously, in general, you're going to be looking at more complex metadata differences and code differences and recon reconciling those. This is just a tool to help you do that uh, without having to uh, overlay your existing project metadata first and then, and then do the comparison. All right. Uh, the other change that I mentioned uh, that's been made for these types of projects has to do with uh, these power user mechanisms for doing uh, uh, transformations on your metadata as it's deployed and retrieved. So, for example, here are some substitution rules, once again contrived, uh, that take all class files and within them find all uh, word boundary uh, uh, page references uh, and change them to system page reference and then uh, do the opposite of that on retrieval. Again, it's a contrived example. Uh, I think more concrete examples would be if you're an ISV uh, and not working against your packaging org, but your source code has uh, deprecated annotations. It allows you to comment and comment those as you deploy and retrieve. Uh, and then obviously your build can make sure that when those go to a production org or a, a, a packaging organization, that those are intact, things like that. So uh, I'm not going to go through uh, an actual deployment here that includes that. Uh, I have deployed most recently from this project. In fact, what we'll do is move to another project, and we can show that it was deployed with those transformations. This is a Scratch Org project. It's the same general metadata laid out a little differently and working against a Scratch Org. Uh, you know, if we pop down the connections, you can see that this is a DX connection, uh, meaning a Scratch Org. And... Um, until now, the only deployment and retrieval operations that have been available for Scratch Orgs have been the coarse-grained uh, push metadata and pull metadata primitives that correspond to force source push and force source pull uh, from the CLI. And I, I've had uh, numerous requests to be able to, from a Scratch Org, also uh, take the project's metadata and work with it uh, against non-Scratch Org uh, 
uh, connections. And so now that's completely possible. As you can see, there are now new actions, all the same actions you would have working against a non-scratch org, uh, except for refresh. You have new actions that are available here. Uh, they do not have uh, keyboard shortcuts bound to them. The keyboard shortcuts are still bound to push and pull for iterative development against your scratch org. But you do have the ability, for example, let's just say we wanted to uh, take this class and compare it to the same copy on the on the um, org that we were using in the previous project. So I will just do a, a retrieve. Uh, no org is selected at this point, so I have to choose one. I'll choose that same connection. And uh, in order to get a more concise uh, difference, I will just choose context. It'll just be this one class, retrieve for merge. So now, again, it's going to retrieve into a temporary directory. It's going to align the retrieve source against the local source. And uh, we can see that I have one class here locally that I don't have on the server and that I mentioned uh, previously that out on deployment, that was taking page reference and substituting it with system page reference. I don't have those same substitution rules set up for this particular uh, project, so they're just being retrieved raw. So we can see that now there's the difference. I'm seeing the server version on the left that still has that and the local version on the right. Um, you can also deploy. So let's say that we want to fix that. Let's say that we want to uh, update the say sandbox or packaging org uh, not to have those unnecessary system dot uh, page reference those system dot qualifications so what i can do is i can just right click all these same operations that are on the toolbar are available through the context menu and drop down menu say deploy all metadata again choose that same connection and i'm just going to deploy this one class into that non-scratch org uh, and we should get yeah so that's completed and if we uh, compare again we should see that it's exactly the same so effectively, you have the ability now to work with your non-scratch orgs, uh, which are typically going to be your sandboxes and uh, first-generation packaging orgs, things like that, from the perspective of your uh, scratch org development environment um, and, uh, and compare and do uh, selective or uh, patch level updates, things like that. So uh, you can see that if we look at all, you can see there are no differences on that file now. One other uh, variant of this, again, is more of a power user variant that I want to show, is we were not able to do, if you may have noticed uh, in that uh, retrieval dialog and uh, deploy dialog, scratch orgs were not available for selection. So uh, this option, allow deploy, retrieve, and delete operations, those raw operations against scratch orgs, is, uh, is now available for, for a Salesforce DX configuration. It's disabled by default, uh, and it allows you to now for example, let's say we want to reconcile this scratch org project to local metadata we have against the actual metadata from that scratch org. So now we have our scratch orgs available for selection. Uh, and I can do uh, fine grained or entire project comparisons, deployments, things like that. I can delete metadata from my scratch org from within uh, Illuminated Cloud without having to delete mo local metadata and hope that the Source Sync API picks that up properly. And so it's retrieving all the metadata from the scratch org, putting it into a temporary directory again. And in just a moment when that completes, yeah, now it's preparing it, aligning the files. And we can take a look at uh, what things look like uh, when retrieved raw, not through the lens of the um, of the four source pool operation. And so we can see that there are some differences. Uh, we've got some labels locally that when they were put in the scratch org, they were actually made into custom labels uh, as far as the name of the file. And uh, we have a workflow that's different. And the reason is, is because locally I have a specific username as a recipient uh, and in the org, that username doesn't exist, and uh, for source push uh, will automatically transform that to the uh, the temporary username uh, for the for the ephemeral scratch org. So things like things like that. Otherwise, I'm not seeing any differences. If I did have differences, I could accept those if I wanted. It's just important when you do that that you then use for source push and for source pull in order to allow the, the source sync uh, API to to catch up on its on its status so that uh, subsequent operations for iterative develop, development work properly. So at a high level, uh, those are uh, quite a few new features that are available for working with Salesforce DX projects that hopefully will uh, provide a tremendous amount of flexibility for, um, for managing your metadata and, and importantly reconciling your metadata uh, no matter what type of project you're using. Thanks a lot.